Hey guys, welcome to another fun and exciting Ironmite GT7 stream. This is the Nations Cup at Fuji. Um, seven laps. I think it's one times fuel, one times tyre wear. Um, in, uh, I think they're, I think they're um, Nissan cars. There's a, a range of six. I did do a stream previously about um, a trial and, and showed all the cars. Um, so I think it's the Nissan Performance 2023 car which I've chosen. It's obviously uh, very fast on the straights. This is me just qualifying. Took my time getting out and uh, practicing a lot. And oh no, no, it's still going. Um, this is the flying lap now. Yeah, so just sat back and uh, just let everyone go. A um, lot of playing around with the gears. You know when to change gears, gearing up, gearing down, um, just being smooth. Um, I've got traction control one on and counter steer on strong. That just helps with the stability, so I can just accelerate a bit quicker than what I normally would. Um, without any of that, I would just spin this car. So this is my qualifying, putting in uh, the best time I can. And then just having a quick look at the um, lap times of everyone else. And I was a bit concerned. I was like, oh, that's close. Could I beat it? And first place. Um, there are two guys in this stream, which I was a bit concerned about. Um, a drivers. Um, I'm nowhere near being an A driver, so I had no idea why they were there. Possibly because not too many people are doing it. But anyway... Um, and one of the guys, which is Doc Hudson in the white car, it's a Freddy, I think, or a... can't remember what car it was. Um, he's, he's a big part of this race because everyone else, literally, I think everyone else is in the Performance 23. He's in a, a much slower car. He's got softs on, he's pretty quick on the corners. So at the bottom right-hand corner, I've got him. Um, because really, he's a big part of this race. I personally, I feel like he's um, helped me out because I was able to tr pretty much keep clear of him. But other people were just getting past, but then he'd get past them, and and it was just slowing people up. So cautious on turn one. I didn't want to go in too hard. And it's around here where Doc Hudson, in this white car, just gets a good exit and just puts it up on the inside I saw him there so I thought I'd just give him a bit of room don't want to start colliding you can easily lose traction and just spin I guess so I was a little bit concerned here you know he's I've already bang I've already lost P1 he's on softs like I said I'm on medium tyres but on the straights that car is pretty slow and uh, you see me just catching up. Now, I don't know if he's thinking I might overshoot the corner, but I get pretty past pretty um, easily. It's pretty hard to overtake here. This is a strength of his with his soft tyres, but you can see him, he's kind of considering going for the outside. Um, it's not really working for him. Try the old switcheroo on these corners, but still he's on the outside again. I'm trying to keep as calm as I can. Try not to push it too hard. Again, he's on the outside. And uh, this is pretty much where I will show my dominance against him. As soon as I hit fifth gear, boom, it's like I'm off. He's just dropping back. He isn't in my slipstream, but it's not enough. He's just not going fast enough. And you'll find, um, what is it, control user in third place? He, yeah, there it goes, he's just overtaking. Just so much faster, these uh, Performance 23 cars. And then in fourth place is, now is, fried tyres. And he'll even start catching up to a Doc Hudson. So I'm actually starting to pull away now. Um, looks like I'm over two seconds in front. 
Um, so control user, he's he's in P2, but now all of a sudden he's dropped back to P3. Doc Hudson, who is slower, but quicker on the corners, um, jumping into P2. Again, it's just slowing things up. Give me an opportunity to uh, break away. Seven laps. Um, not the longest of races, but it felt a bit long while I was doing it. Occasionally, uh, I think on this lap, I just go off the track a touch. And I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm just looking at the map or my eyes are just drifting a bit. Just going a bit hard here, I think it is. Yeah. And I thought, don't, don't spin it. And that's just allowed Doc Hudson and control tr controller user to catch up a bit, but still got quite a lead. So Doc Hudson's just getting around that, that final corner. And again, he'll uh, he'll get eaten up by a controller user. And possibly fried tires. goes fried tyres. So my, um, I've been doing a lot of practicing and just racing as clean as I can, as efficiently as I can. So there's quite a gap now between me and controller user in the same car. Do believe he's a bit of a better driver than me, but that's, he's got a lot of work to do to try and catch up. And uh, he's still got that um, Doc Hudson. Although it looks like he has broken away now. Fry Tyres is still a bit too close. Doc Hudson giving Fry Tyres a bit of a run for his money. So he's, he's getting past him on the corners. But it's on the straights. The uh, Performance 23 is just so dominant. It's so maybe just going over the, uh, the lap from the main screen. Um, pretty much full revs not short shifting at all, not considering tyres or fuel. Uh, so the Performance 23 has medium or hard tyres, so go for the best of course, mediums. Um, leaving it in seventh and then down to third, just momentarily and then back to fourth. Try and keep that mo momentum going. See I've got fastest lap so far, I think I'd beat it again. down to fourth to try and rotate the car should have been uh, should have been in fifth a bit quicker although I think my mind is um, drifting occasionally just feathering the accelerators try not to drift out too far maintain traction on the road hitting the apex is good so you've got heaps of room to start accelerating out In full revs and then this the shadow of this sign is pretty much my brake marker just keeping it in third just lifting a touch make this corner push and then I hold it in third over rev it over these bumps and then fourth then holding it in fourth and just trying to make this one big smooth corner I think the very first lap I was actually gearing down because I had Doc Hudson right on my tail. And so I had to um, just drive a bit more defensively 
tighter corner so I had to gear down a bit more. I've got a quite a strong lead on everyone else now. Um, hitting the four four second and I was trying to hit five second mark as well. So we're on to lap five now. It's still going strong. Just maintaining that uh, that rhythm. But because that that gap, I would contribute to um, Doc Hudson sort of holding people up a bit. So, like I said, there were six cars available, and I tested all of them. And there were two cars that were pretty close, the uh, Performance 23 and uh, another car. But at the end of the day, it was the Performance 23. Doc Hudson is not using that car, and uh, it shows. And he's an A driver, alongside um, controller user. So, to get pole position, fastest lap and pretty much the win against what not a lot of people nine but having two a drivers in there um, yeah it was quite a surprise for me So with only two laps remaining, I was pretty confident that I, I had this, although there's always in the back of my mind, do not bin it, do not get too relaxed. I think it's this lap I actually get, um, I beat my fastest time. Because I remember, uh, I think it was, I noticed it, and then final lap I thought, that's what I want to go for, try and beat it. I have had races in the past, maybe even in GT Sport, where I'm just so focused on, on everything, where it feels like things are slowing down. This race... I'm focused but then I'm trying to be relaxed and switching between focused and relaxed can be a little bit dangerous because you're heading into a braking zone, you should be focused but you're starting to relax and things start going a bit wrong, start going in a bit deep. I was lucky, luckily enough where if things did go wrong it wasn't so bad that I couldn't correct it, lose a little bit of time but not go off track and bin it. I'm pretty sure it's this lap I get another fastest lap. And funny enough, during the week I was I was um, doing really well. I, I did a like I said I did a stream showing a lap guide. And then I was getting into the uh, manufacturers at um, uh, oh, I've forgotten the name of it, Maguri, um, and I forgot about this, and then the night before this race, and in the morning, I was doing laps, and I wasn't even getting close to my fastest time, I wasn't even doing a minute 55s, and I started to get a bit worried. So yeah, as you can see, I did do a um, another fastest lap, and it was this lap here. I thought I want to try and do it again, try and beat it, just try and hit every corner right. And on a side note, guys, um, 
these races lately the the slow cars which was the Honda Fit um, the Citroen these cars I'm starting to get a little bit bored um, there's not much strategy involved um, it's either hit or miss you, you, you're doing well or you're not I like to have races where someone is not the best driver but they've got a really good strategy and they can make something out of it and these races are just boring me a bit I mean even the um, the manufacturers at Maguri was 20 laps you had to pit but you didn't have to put in fuel or tyres and it just seems pointless to me so this bit here I'm <laughs> I've got a new wheel I couldn't find my uh, to flash my headlights but yeah I'm looking for it but didn't find them not to matter so won the race against two A drives Hope you enjoyed the uh, stream guys, um, looking forward to seeing your streams and how you did, and uh, see you again, thanks for watching, hit the like button if you don't mind, and uh, see you in the next one, bye for now.